Hello everyone, welcome back to some more videos from uh, Praetorian. My name's John and I'm here today to talk to you about our Environ range. Our Environ range is aptly named because it's our environmental control range. So it's a range of devices that will allow you to have ease of access, more independence in a home-based situation, um, affordable, easy to set up, and very small and compact. As you can see, right now we're on a desk and we've got the majority of the decent um, main products that you require for an environmental configuration. So I'm gonna go through them and just break it down into what you'd require um, and how they would work. But before I do so, so, please have a look at this website page. This shows you lots of different example configurations of what products are required to achieve certain outputs. This is worth looking at as some ideas, but also to steer you in the right direction of what to purchase if you are interested in Environ. So without further ado, going to go into the products in front of us today and show you a little bit more about how Environ works. On the left hand side here, I've lined up three different types of devices. These are our input devices. The input devices um, are used to control most of the appliances normally associated with daily living. So at the top here, we've got the Environ iPad app. Um, that's a free app that you can download from the App Store. We'll also have a QR code on our website and uh, a, an ability to download it from there. This app is completely uh, flexible for lots of different things. You can have pictures on the buttons. You can have a different number of buttons for different appliances. You can set them up for different uh, processes of how you'd like to press the buttons. Is it latched? Is it direct, etc. Um, so there's loads within there, and we'll go through that on a future video. This is the scanning remote. And the scanning remote is quite an interesting remote. It has uh, no buttons. It's uh, uh, kind of flat, flat key programmable. Um, so all of these keys are programmable for different things. It also has a scanning function within it and also has switch out inputs within it as well. So you see at the top there. And within this scanning remote, you have a lot of different functionalities that you can use. Um, but obviously, mainly, you'd be thinking of using this for a TV control <clears throat> and it would offer disabled users a bit more access to uh, a remote rather than uh, a fiddly TV remote that you might get with your actual TV that could be quite small with small buttons, for example. And then finally, you've got the wireless switches here. Slightly different to our Simply Works wireless switches. These have Environ set up, so they'll have the appliance uh, usage um, functions within them. But again, a very simple way of connecting a wireless switch to enable independence for use of appliances or uh, things within the living environment. All of these will do nothing without this. This is the linchpin of the Environ range, the hub. Um, and this uh, converts everything that you play with here and press into the signals that are required to then have an output the other end. So without the hub, we won't get very far at all. The hub is uh, an easily programmable, um, compact and uh, even mountable, so you could uh, screw it onto a wall and things like that so it's out of the way, with a good range as well of um, converting those signals into that appliance control. So we have a TV here, obviously you've got the scanning remote, you would set that up with the hub and the hub would then tell the TV what the scanning remote is trying to do with regards to the functions you've set up, be that change channel, change volume, whatever you'd like to do. With the iClick, that opens you up to lots of appliance control. So it's a powered, um, enabled uh, device, so it gives you power to a number of different appliances. Now, with any of these devices, you could connect that to the hub and access the iClick to then control any of your appliances with the three input devices there. It's as simple as that, and that's a really quick intro to how these work. With our future videos, I'm going to go through how each of the products connects to different configurations and show them slightly in action so you can get an indication of how they look and feel um, and how easy it is to set these up. I hope that was a good introduction and I hope you're interested enough to find out more uh, and we'll speak to you very soon. Thank you very much.